Welcome back to the Gun Collective, boys and girls. We got something interesting today. That is the X9R Marauder from Olight. This is one of the dumbest, most ridiculous, yet coolest knives I've ever seen. Let's get into it. This is how it comes. I thought it was important to show the original packaging because this is a flashlight. One, there's one inside of here. One flashlight. So here's how we're greeted. Some really nice packaging. I mean, this, this flashlight retails for an extraordinary amount of money. I believe it's $600. Oh my Lord. Okay, so there it is. It says something on the bag. So that's it with the box. Congratulations and welcome to the family. Interesting, all right, let's get into it. The X9R Marauder, it says right on top of there. This is actually a pretty nice box for a freaking flashlight. Now, here's the interesting thing, oh my God. All right, all right, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna close that up. We're gonna pretend like we didn't see that because I think it's interesting that Olight is just coming at this from a totally different angle. I've never seen a single company attack the creator space and try and get more people to work with them ever before like Olight. Props to them, because that's really, really smart. Uh, let's get back into this. Look at this. I mean, I guess if you're gonna spend that kind of money on a flashlight, you better get some cool stuff. All right, so let's go through the paperwork, part of the charger. I believe this is a ring, like a, a textured rubberized ring to go around the front of this thing. So when you set it down on a table, it doesn't roll. That's an interesting thing to include. The other half of the charger, a car charger, a shoulder strap that's actually nicely embroidered and a little bit padded, sure. Whatever, there you go, and let's take out. This is a flashlight, boys and girls. This, oh my God, <laughs> this is, oh, this is so ridiculous. This is the battery, okay? This is a 600 lumen flashlight. This is the battery. <laughs> the battery. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be awesome. All right, so here we go. We've got the nice kind of uh, smashing people's skull thing on the back, the crenellations, I believe that's what that's called. So if you wanna really hit somebody, this thing weighs like, you could do curls with this freaking thing. Good God. So there's a lumen indicator here and a battery indicator on the other side. I would be really, really stupid to turn this on right now. And six. Big, big old LEDs in the front. It's got heat sinks. I mean, this thing is the definition of absurd. Again, 600 lumen, 25,000 lumen, 25,000 lumens. We're gonna see what kind of light output these two have versus this. I'm positive this is gonna hurt my eyes. I've got full studio lights on here. I've got two big ones and a couple of the ones over on the side. So here we go. That's 15, right? 15 lumens. Turn it back on. That's 125. You can see that on my hand. Okay. Here we go. 600 lumens on my hand. There's 600 lumens. Okay. And I believe to turn this all the way on, man, this is a bad idea. Maybe I'll just shine it back there or at the ceiling first, because I'm so afraid to be blinded by this. I believe you double tap the power button. Here we go. I just turned on the sun. Oh my God, oh my, it's like warming my hand. <laughs> oh, and it just dimmed. Why did it dim? Oh, there it goes. Why is it doing that? Look at that, are you seeing this? All right, I guess, the, oh my God. It had to maybe, I don't know why it's dimming. Okay, so we've got our battery. Let's turn that on. So we just tap it on and it goes immediately to 800 lumens. And of course you see our battery indicator over here on the side, that's 800 lumens. Let's see what that looks like compared. All right, so there's my hand, it's 800 lumens. Obviously this beam pattern is a lot different. So there's 800 lumens. Let's go ahead and do this. There's 600, I think that's way more concentrated if I do this. Not, honestly, it doesn't look like much of a difference. Let's go ahead and ramp this up. And I think you just hold it down. Yep, there it goes. And there it is. There's 25,000 lumens. I'm shining it around in here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell. 
This is like a freaking lightsaber. Let me turn these lights off and, and see how it looks in here. Here's 600 lumens on my hand again. Hey, there we go. So 600 lumens at some kind of like maybe a couple feet distance on my hand. And I've got the big light. Let's go on with that. Holy shite. That is 25,000. It's lighting up the entire studio. Oh my Lord. Don't ever look at this. There you go, guys. Unbelievable. I'll just hold it like this. Maybe if I shine it off of my lights, there you go. <laughs> and it's doing that weird dimming thing. I don't understand what's going on with that. Maybe it's a heat thing. Maybe it's got to warm up. I don't know, but this is like freaking awesome. This is so freaking cool. Look how bright that is. We need to take this outside. Let's, let's take this outside. So it's a little after eight, it's just about 8.30 here on the East Coast. So there is still some light. You can kind of see it back there, but uh, Adam, uh, why don't you start on the lowest setting and, and point it like at the tree behind you. So just hold, there you go. So that's 200 lumens. Now go ahead and ramp up. They'll be able to see the different stages. Where's full? Tell me when full. That's oh full. my God. That's full. So go ahead and point it over into the light area. So this is above us in the tree canopy here. And if you want to go look over there, like light. that's that's light out there and you're you're lighting it up yeah, here. Well, so we'll it's try, like we'll it's try and ramp it down so you can see the change out yeah there. Just go ahead and hold it uh, all right we're, we're gonna ramp up i guess because that's okay and we're back at full wow that's freaking bright we're gonna do this later at night so we can kind of get a better idea but i wanted to show you guys how bright that is at dusk how many lumens Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. uh Yes, yeah, this thing's pretty light. From under the trees, I'm gonna go ahead and point this. It's still pretty light. So you can kind of see how much light there is on my skin, my pasty skin. Uh, we're gonna point it up at the trees and see how bright this is. We're going straight to 25,000. There you go. So even in the daylight, I mean, that's still super bright. I don't know how well that's coming through, but it's like ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. That's full. I'm gonna walk away so you guys can see kind of my outline here. Just how bright this really is. That's pointed at the ground at my waist level. And I'm sure you can see how bright that is. Here's this tree. I mean, this is crazy. Super, super bright. Here we go. The canopy above me, probably the highest point I don't know, 50, 60 feet up. These are some pretty big trees. Then the low point over here. I mean, good Lord. It's probably, here, let's shut that off. Ready? Look at that. Boom. That's bright. Let's do this again at night. Let's see what that looks like. So that's the low beams on the Acura MDX 2017. Here's the lowest setting. There you go. You can see that above, and we're just going to ramp up. It's just gonna bump up like that and wait for it. That is full. So there you go as a comparison. Let me uh, turn on the, the high beams here. So there's the highs. And there's the 25,000 lumens. Good God. Let's look at the trees. All right, so we're about 40 minutes after. The last time we did this, I'm pointing straight up into the trees. The camera settings are identical, so the light is just that much darker. I'm gonna start on the low. There it is, 200 lumens. Let's see if you can see that just barely in the trees. All right, here we go, let's ramp it up. And there it is, 25,000 lumens. Same settings, 25,000 lumens, it's a little bit darker. Good God. That is bright. All right, here we go. There's off, and there's full. Holy crap. That is bright. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day. Obviously, I've changed. I look slightly different, uh, maybe more refreshed. It is the morning. This thing is freaking ridiculous. 
I cannot think of a different flashlight where you need a carry strap to carry this thing around. I can't think of something that goes up to 25,000 lumens in a package like this. Like normally that's like a spotlight. This thing is bonkers. Every camera, like I've tried this with the cell phone camera. I did some stuff on Instagram and the camera has to constantly adjust for the amount of light that's coming out of this. It is freaking stupid. Now we did have that weird like dimming issue and I think that was because the battery was not fully charged. After we were done uh, with that segment, I ran upstairs, threw it on the charger and it was seemingly good to go for the rest of the time. Um, that's where I could see this sort of uh, car charger coming into play because you know, you're out and you're playing around with the thing and the, the, the way the battery discharges so rapidly, it would be nice to have something on the go to, you know, kind of fill that back up. I mean, the battery is so big, you guys saw that. And the, the carrying strap suddenly becomes a realistic thing when you're trying to lug this around. You know, this is freaking stupid absolutely bonkers. So with that being said, I believe the MSRP on these right now, the MSRP is $600. Uh, I think there is a sale going on for like 150 bucks off, like some kind of crazy money back guarantee if you don't like it. So if you want to pick one up, there's a link in the description. No, f it's no skin off my back if you don't want one because it is really expensive. It is really over the top. You can't carry this in your pocket. I mean, you could try, let's see. But that's what you're stuck with. There's that tiny little flashlight. This is something you could EDC. It's got the theorem clip on there and this is shenanigans in a small package. Uh, that's not exactly the best EDC light, but as always guys, I appreciate you coming along for the ride, checking out cool stuff. As always, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys coming along, enjoying these unboxings, checking out what we've got to do. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.